Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So currently Google Chrome, as you may well know, as part of the performance features in the browser, has a energy saver, which conserves battery power by limiting background activity and visual effects, such as smooth scrolling and video frame rates. And obviously this is used to extend your battery life. Now, it seems that in our next stable release of Google Chrome, which is going to be 133 rolling out next month in February, Google is going to be taking the energy saver one step further, where they have announced on the 20th of January that eligible CPU intensive background tabs will be frozen when energy saver mode is active. So basically you have two options, turn on only when your battery is at 20% or lower or turn on when your computer is unplugged. So when that is active, and they carry on to say this aims to reduce battery consumption for users who rely on energy saver and obviously for better battery life. And they mention that only background tabs that meet specific criteria and, and exhibit high CPU usage will be frozen. Now basically they say that freezing is different from discarding, where a tab is unloaded from memory. Okay, so basically... That's where your memory saver comes in, which is already a feature that's um, Chrome frees up memory from inactive tabs. So freezing is different from discarding, where a tab is unloaded from memory. When a frozen tab, they say, is brought back into focus, it's automatically unfrozen, and any queued tasks are executed without loss of state. So that's the difference between freezing and um, discarding a tab using memory saver. Okay, And then... Basically, they say that these events allow the page to release unused resources, notify a server that the page is paused, or record metrics. So it's going to come back, and that page can be used a lot quicker than discarding it using Memory Saver. And that's basically the difference between um, freezing and discarding. Now, they also mention that with Energy Saver enabled, like I have it currently, a browsing context group will be frozen if it meets the following conditions. All pages within the group have been hidden and silent for more than five minutes, and any subgroup of same origin frames within the group is CPU intensive. So those are basically the, the, the two main um, criteria that need to be met for the energy saver to be enabled and this freezing to take place. Now, just take note though that they say the definition of CPU intensive may evolve. Okay, so obviously that can change from time to time. And they also say that email or chat clients or calendar applications that generate notifications will not be frozen. So according to Google, at the end of the day, freezing, which is going to be rolling out with version 133, conserves power, which they say is crucial for users with energy saver enabled. And as mentioned, it improves foreground tab performance and helps avoid background tab termination. They say, especially on resource-constrained devices, or as I would say, a low-budget machine, by reducing CPU usage and memory access. So Google just taking the whole energy memory savers, um, power saver settings in the browser one step further with this freezing. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, do you think this is a step in the right direction or just more bloat, so to speak, coming to the browser. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.